Hello everyone, Coach Steph Shock here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna feature a toy today, but it's not gonna be a gunpla. This is something that has been uh, on my backlog since last year actually. And I bought this in, on June 2019, and I still haven't gotten to finish the, finishing this kit. But it's the Jeepney. So this is a limited edition Tamiya uh, four-wheel drive that features the iconic Filipino jeepney design. So, uh, obviously I wasn't that excited to build this one, but nevertheless, let's uh, unbox and finish this kit. Let's go! When I was a kid, uh, among the numerous toy crazes that were on the range back then was four-wheel drive. Uh, it was popularized by the anime Let's Go and uh, that was where I was uh, exposed to this uh, hobby. Uh, in our small store in Quezon City, we used to sell uh, four-wheel drive kits like this but uh, not of the Tamiya brand, rather those bootleg ones that were also uh, popular back then. And Truth be told, this is actually my first Tamiya for four-wheel drive. I never got to own an original one, even though I really wanted to have a Pete Magnum. So there, this one was bought from Lil Hobby Center. Uh, let me just check how much it was. So the jeepney cost 750 pesos, and there was a shipping cost of 85 pesos. So total was 835 pesos. This was delivered to my house in Quezon City back in June 2019. And I have a group chat called Opai Habibista. It's composed of uh, my batchmates in my elementary school. Uh, shout outs to UP Integrated School. And it's a group chat wherein we just talk about our hobbies, mainly of toys, cards, collections, whatsoever. So mine was particularly of gunpla and sneakers. And some of them were into uh, four-wheel drive racing and they told me that Tamiya issued this kit uh, in celebration of Filipino culture. And I was interested because it wasn't that expensive actually for a four-wheel drive. So I got it, uh, had it shipped to, over to my house in Quezon. So we're gonna do a slight form of unboxing since this has already been unboxed and actually <laughs> My younger sister already started working on this kit. She really wasn't a fan of this, but she was just that bored uh, a few months ago and she started placing the stickers on the body of the GP. <laughs> okay, I didn't know what came to her that, that day. So there, so I'll show you the contents of this uh, jeepney box and uh, join me as I build this kit. Let's go! Alright, as with any toy unboxing and review, we're going to do an inspection of the box. So at the front of the box, it says Jeepney FMA Chassis. So it's part of the Rev Mini 4-Wheel Drive Rev Series. So one is the 32 scale Mini 4-Wheel Drive Rev Series. Snap together assembly, no glue required. So it's going to be similar to building a Gunpla. 4.2 is to 1 gear, type 130 motor included. Requires two R6 AAUM3 batteries, not included, and paint not included. So I'll have to get some batteries of my own. So it's a Tamiya kit. So the front features the main, uh, the unit itself. So it's red, a uh, mixture of a lot of stickers, vibrant uh, text uh, shows. Uh, Kiapo Makati Pavanyake line, so that refers to uh, Jeepney Root here in the Philippines. So it also shows Philippines, AC 2019, HR Challenge, the Shop Lills Hobby Center, website www.tamiya.com. So they incorporated a lot of Filipino culture and uh, infuse it with uh, information and uh, tidbits uh, regarding the hobby of four-wheel drive racing. And it also shows a smaller uh, 
skill uh, drawing a uh, photograph of the rear view of the jeepney okay all right on the side it has it shows the chassis top view and bottom view so I can't really read the Japanese text obviously but it shows some of the portions wherein there's the spoke wheel the motor side stay where the batteries will be inserted there's the rollers and for the bottom view shows the skid bar the motor the under panel a small diameter low profile tire which is black and rear roller stay uh, skid type okay right on the sides just the same uh, photograph in the front same text the parallel sides exactly the same the back portion about the car so I'm guessing this is Japanese text and the English text <clears throat> okay let me try to remove the glare this mini four-wheel drive model is inspired by the unique transport vehicles found in the Philippines with the body recreating a customized truck oozing character and with plenty of detail across the board. Include separate parts for roof and engine hood horses, plus colorful metallic stickers. The model is based upon the FM-8 chassis. Right, so again, information about the batteries that are needed. Recommended tools include side cutters, modeling knives, screwdriver, and tweezers. So some of the things that I'm currently using for gunpla building will be quite as useful here in building this four-wheel drive kit. Okay. Nothing at the back. Alright, so let's inspect the box. Again, this has already been opened, but I'm just gonna show you what the contents are. Okay, so this is the body of the jeepney. As I told you earlier, uh, my younger sister has already placed the stickers. Some of the stickers. Alright, so it's already giving you a preview of how it's gonna look like. <laughs> it's really a cool little feature with the horses. <laughs> so it really mimics a Sarao jeepney. <laughs> okay, that's that. Okay, some of the plan. Oh, okay, so my sister hasn't opened everything yet. Okay, so uh, similar to Gantla, they have runners, and the plastic runners are uh, will compose. Uh, will compose the body and the structure of the chassis as well as the jeepney itself the, so main it's red and the chassis and the wheels are black okay what are what else is inside the kit inside the box these are uh, gears that's necessary for the movement of the four-wheel drive okay and this one is the stock motor that's included okay anything else okay so my sister already placed the wheels ah oh, gosh all right so it's all actually the mags and the wheels are already uh, in place so i guess my sister did something aside from uh, placing the stickers Quite surprised that you're actually just in this. Anyway, <laughs> oh, there's also case. Eh, okay. Look at that massive sticker sheet. <laughs> okay, so it's still not yet finished. Okay, I can still play some of the stickers. Wow, look at that. <laughs> well. Usually in Gunpla, you will really uh, hate it when a kit requires too many stickers. But for this one, uh, it's a welcome, you know, it's a welcome design. Obviously, can't paint that. All right, next is the instruction manual. So it's not a book type; it's a one paper, long paper sheet. Okay. So okay, at least there's a lot of English text. That's very helpful for us and this one uh, huh so supervision guidelines when you're with a kid if a kid is building this one okay anything else uh, other informations about the kit so 
important information concerning this kit, uh, mostly about taking care of uh, safety. All right, jeepney. All right, I'll return to you guys when I finally build this kit. I finally finished building this Tamiya jeepney. It took me a while and I had some mistakes and I'm really thankful for my friend JC Nasam who's really much into uh, Tamiya four-wheel drive uh, race car kit building and he gave me some tips on how to disassemble the entire uh, chassis setup so that helped me in uh, correctly finishing the kit so let's try the motor on let's try the switch Turn it up and all right, it's working. All right. Now that we're finished building the Tamiya Jeepney, we have placed it in the rotating display stand, and you can see that the kit has a huge amount of stickers. So most kit builders aren't fans of a uh, multitude of stickers in their kits. But for this particular four-wheel drive, it's really important to place them all so that it will really be an accurate representation of a Filipino jeepney. So the red is striking as the mod, the four-wheel drive uh, is red dominated along with uh, the black chassis and the gray mags. So it actually looks good from a distance and even up close. I like the details of the horses on, uh, at the hood of the jeepney as well as the windows that uh, uh, portray a driver and the passengers. So it actually looks good. Really is a good piece for your uh, four-wheel drive or model kit collections. That's how it looks like from the bottom. So. It's red and black. There's the screws. Uh, there's a sticker where you can place your name on it. And the switch is actually on this side. Okay. There's a locking mechanism in place so that the main body can be removed if you need to change batteries or motors. So you just turn the dial on to the left. And then you can open it just like that. Okay. So this is how it looks like when the main body is removed. So I believe this can still be customized. The motor can still be replaced with a faster one. I've used just generic batteries for this uh, video recording. And looks pretty basic, but you're not gonna buy this for performance. You're gonna buy this for the design and it's limited edition. Okay, let me return it back. Just like that. Again, this serves as the lock. And then just turn it to the right. And now it's secured. The rollers are functional. Okay. The wheels are just the standard ones. We don't have access to a track where we could try on the jeepney for its performance review. But I can say that it's pretty standard in terms of uh, speed, I guess. Alright. Oh, let me try that out again. It happens a lot of times. All right. <laughs> All right. Woo! Okay. Oops. Oops. So that's about it for my unboxing and review of the Tamiya Jeepney. It's a good piece to have in your model kit collection if you're a Tamiya fan, if you're a four-wheel drive fan, or if you're a model kit 
builder in general, this would have a place in your collection. So there, Coach Tepshock signing off. Peace, God bless, stay safe, take care. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Bye!